what is nice about being a person who knows that no person out there with their mouth has an opinion that creates an inner storm. As I was saying in the short, when you are emotionally mature, which means you're confident, which means you have healthy self-worth, which means you have secure attachment, which means you have your zero one-year-old in the forefront and your three-year-old, it's a whole heart. That's why you have no shame button. So when a person, whoever public figure, whatever title they may have, thank you, mom, uh, you learn how to be like, uh, okay, what? Yes, thank you for that opinion. What subject matter expert are you? What's your job? You, you're, you're not on a pedestal. Nope, nope. Confidence means uh, not superior or inferior, but also you're not superior or inferior, like right here. If I hit you with something, you're human. I won't hit you, though, because, Mom, thanks. I learned how to respect. And, you know, again, when you maintain innocence, this does not mean you're gullible, but you can be, yes, naive and think that people won't try to scheme you. But that's a whole different story of what I want to talk about. So as a mystic, I knew about 5D and the timeline and still do. And I see our 4D collective talking a lot. So I figured, you know what, let's, let's let 5D know a thing or two about the advantages of being one a emotion mature confident actual woman in this case but also men you are welcome to join because what emotional mature people do is called a whole self healthy self-worth so it means you actually have no envy no jealousy because you work with your insecurity so you can own it from here so yeah uh, seeing through bullshit the advantages even as a teenager i could see through bullshit now it took me a little while to figure all of the things out but uh, then i figured it out and as a grown-up i met more and more people i was like okay you're pretty straightforward so when it comes to people straightforward and when it comes to what academics have called the authoritarians who pull on the emotional strings of people yes uh, that's for the academics who are trying to inform human beings that don't know integration of the brain okay so let me spell this one out when you have the ability to be here with where are you let's see here we go you are a person no need for Elsa's journey just look in the mirror okay whole three-year-old heart world don't revolve around you and you get to be goofy stupid all of it flawed and perfect you name it okay and you get taught with equanimity so nobody has power over you and there's no storm you can't handle, cannot, because you know how to be your own safe haven. Thank you, mother. So I have a mom who learned to tell me it's okay to cry and be angry and all of it, but let's be respectful of all these other people out there. And so since I was young, anyone who was bullshitting me, and it didn't matter who they were, as I got older, though, because you need to get to those teenage years, yes, I got to very clearly note when someone was just speaking out of their mouths and you know there's so many of the unkind non-secure insecure human beings who need a good therapist they don't go to one because they watch movies like hangover and then because they also don't care to do let me tend to my hearts they they project it and they do you know the fucking the drinking the drugging and then they go out and watch other types of documentaries and movies and long and long story short they do elsa without ever getting to the end so the 4D, they were talking about how we're going to see uh, right about now a lot of public figures and important names and the way they explain is like, ah, oh, they're going to be crumbling down. And I'm like, uh, what are you talking about? Didn't you know that the people who stay within their immature emotional self will be looking with the magical eyes of a childhood trauma survivor? Let's see, Patrick Tiahan, you should meet him. He's online. And I, I point over there because, you know, the idea we can go on YouTube, <laughs> get off of here, go to YouTube. Well, actually, it'll be on YouTube or TikTok. Depends where you see this. So as he shares in a lot of different posts, before you can become the adult version of you, so you need to reparent yourself, you're going to have this thing called magical thinking. And you're going to want to keep saving your own self in your home. And so I'm going to give you the gist of it. I have compassion and love for every single human being out there. In fact, all of them. But I come with a secure attachment story. So again, we don't see somebody speaking on a podium and be like, oh, 
they know every no actually it's quite the contrary it's more like you're just another mouth that i am hearing and i'll see what i can see of interesting from you and then i'll move on and again and again and again there's no shame so it doesn't matter if you're the king of somewhere or the whoever it is you may give me your name you can give me all your names you can be you know like when i meet people it's like my ethical cult and culty cult and traditional cult leader has me doing X, Y, Z, D, E, F, G. Uh, that's why influencers or anyone who's on a screen or not on a screen, they can hold a public position. I'm a political science major. They are another human being. That is it. So inside here and in here and literally here, I'm hearing people like get all, uh, which is pseudo liveness, the sensationalization. It seems like they are falling from the clouds and I get it because I saw people that would fall for certain types of individuals' words, and I'm like, didn't you notice that they always were talking a lot of bullshit? You actually believed their words? And so this magical thinking, the emotion mature, confident, whole three-year-old heart, as they're growing up, they don't actually uh, have it. There, there's no magic wand. In fact, here's where 5D mystics know that our lovely Claire's, they're not magical powers. The field of consciousness, the sphere, and that's why I'm woo woo pseudoscience lady, by the way, because I respect the academics who are doing sciences. I can always tell if it's an academic or if it's somebody who's taking information and then they're using it a certain way because of the demeanor of the person. It'll be very noticeable when I have a teacher, guide, a human being who cares about you because they will have a completely different way to present you information just by their energy. Wow, when I see the teenagers, I remind myself, or no, I remember about jocks and cheerleaders and just any movie. So the minute I see that you hold yourself a certain way, I'm going to notice if you're really confident and emotionally mature, woman, man, or not, or if you're Cusco, who's wearing a pacha outfit, but you are not any pacha to an actual pacha. You're just going to be another one of those pretend pachas that this is where Peter Pan comes in and the Lost Boys and the Lost Girls. Okay, so 4D made a big deal out of what 2024 and moving on is going to bring, I'm, I'm trying to say 5D mystics, one, come on over here. I know that you're out there. Uh, we're like, yeah, okay, uh, we already knew that person, that person, that person, that person, that we know all of the ones who have the potch outfits. The minute they begin opening their mouth and speaking is the minute that my ear hears their tone. Thank you, Stephen Porges. The ventral vagal nervous system of every one of us actually calibrates our tone. And if you have integration of the brain, which means you also have secure attachment, which also means you're emotionally confident for real, not pretend, you literally have only one stance and one stance alone, which anyone who has triggers, they're not going to like it. I remember as a teenager what I learned about low self-esteem. They don't like confidence. That's why they consistently lie to you in your face, behind your back. It doesn't even matter. And so these are like day to day. You can only imagine once I found out actually, see, I had a very, what is it called? I had a very um, impactful experience as I did choose what I had chosen as my academic career for a reason. And when I learned to see that I had been given a whole facade, yeah, I'll never forget that day. And those days, I was like, wow, huh, I'm going to have to process this one before I even bother speaking about it. As you can tell, I'm not speaking about it because luckily for me, I learned if you can't say something nice, shh, say nothing. And I like the right silence because, you know, at the end of the day, the future is already here for those of us who stay in our present. And the 5D mystic definitely knows we don't have to lift a finger because, again, a facade always comes down because the storm person who handles a storm, it's because it's not a storm to have emotions in our body. A person who's using their mind thinking that they can, they're not thinking that's the point. What happens when you don't have the adult you that leads with your child is that you're not an adult emotionally. So you're not in the present. You're not using your prefrontal cortex. In fact, you're going to be a pattern. That's why you're going to be a pacha. That's a pretend pacha to someone like me. It'll take me some time sometimes to figure it out, but I'll know sooner or later if you're actually pretending because your tone will tell me because while those of us who are authentic and genuine, we say, here's our heart. I believe in me and I believe in you. And like Pacha, we won't go back on our word and we will mean it. So we know how to be vulnerable, which is why there is no storm. So again, the bullshit 
we don't really care because really life is one as long as i'm living and breathing you represent no threat i'm not going to be in my survival mode on the other hand the heartbroken three-year-old they're trying to make sure that they stay worthy so that's why their pattern it's maladaptive as a grown-up unfortunately they have a broken heart so we'll say we're here we can hug you and hopefully they might get to a good therapist tune in for more